everybody welcome back to the science of everything channel for an apple video uh apologize for not doing one for like three to two weeks but i've had things to do so sorry but we're back for this week at least next week i think i'm not gonna be able to do it but we'll get back to that at the end of the video today we'll be talking about iOS 7.4 uh the rumors for i oh there could be a next Apple event coming up soon. Actually, in March, maybe. Um, there seems to be a new update out for iOS 17. And it's iOS 17.3.1. Of course, I don't do posts. If I can't get a screenshot of it, so I do not do a post of it. Because I do betas, and I actually had to update this Mac a few an hour ago because I forgot to update it because I'm not doing betas in this MacBook Air I mean, this is new not old so I got it in Christmas so <clears throat> it's I just updated it so you know I did not know or did not realize how much times it does the Apple logo on when you're updating a Mac it does it like five to six times it's crazy how much times it like reboots it like does the Apple logo and then the line but, uh, yeah, I also bought a few things, some work, because I haven't been doing a video in a while, so I actually bought a mouse, and I have a pad from other times, Bluetooth mouse, it's actually, looks, it's almost look like Apple's, it's even better than Apple's, because it isn't USB-C, it's micro USB, which I have one right here, actually, this one's micro USB-C, I have a few other things in my room that use micro USB, this is another one. But instead of being on the bottom, it's Bluetooth, and it has this, or you can use this. It came with a box, which, this piece, right here. Um, yeah. So, this MacBook has been good, but that's not what we came here to do. So we came here to look at the rumors and look at other stuff. So, I was 17.4, beta 2. It was released on Tuesday and then Wednesday for public beta testers, I believe. And I've been posting a lot of gymnastics stuff this week, not Apple stuff. So this is going to be the first Apple thing this week. So switching gears here. So I was 70.4 beta 2. This is almost pretty stable. I found a bug yesterday on my iPhone. So one year I didn't take a screenshot, of course, because I didn't really want to get a copyright for music purposes so when you're in music i was using my home pods yesterday not anything to do with the home pods but with the dynamic island and my 14 pro so when in the dynamic island when you're using like airplay it shows up the airplay like airplay icon and then but instead of it was doing it, it was like there was two things in the dynamic island but then when i would go to touch it, it would glitch a little bit up there and do weird things and i had to play with it it would go back, but it would, whenever I would mess with it, because it, it thought there was like two things in the Dynamic Island, but there wasn't, because I don't really know what it was doing, but some sort of bug going on with the Dynamic Island when you're using AirPlay, seems like. Uh, I don't think it's just for the home pods. I think it's just for AirPlay. I'll come back on that. I'll get a screenshot during the week and send it to you guys during a post, maybe, but hopefully that gets fixed. Also, one more thing, what was patched in iOS 70.4? If we go to messages, I'm just going to go to myself quickly. So I really need to be showing people. If we go to this, this is now, been work is now working again. This right here was not working in iOS 70. Point, uh, iOS 70.4 beta 1. This was not working. It was just showing a blank, blank screen. And just not working on my phone. I actually sent a feedback form to them. They actually sent me back, wrote me back, uh, wrote me back. Do you guys want to see that in feedback? Let's see if it works on my. Oh no, it's not gonna work. If you guys want to see, it, I have to enter my password for stuff. Hold on. I don't use the, feed, the feedback app of my iPad. I do it on my phone most of the time. So, 
yeah, I, I just signed back in. Sorry about that. So, I, oh, wait, was this messages? Yeah, messages. So I wrote, wrote to them on February 1st. They wrote back on February 7th. There are changes in the latest update build to 21E5195E. This may have resolved the issue. You can, yeah, you can do that. So, they just sent me an email too. So, I also have, there's also, I was sending, oh, not uh, Vision OS, because now uh, it's been so long I've done a video. Apple Vision Pro has been released. I am not picking one up. It's 3500 or I'm not getting, if I were to buy it, I'd need a little bit more than 256 I would get the 512 but that's a little bit out of my price range. And my parents would definitely would not let me get that. Because it's so expensive and all this stuff. This was expensive, this MacBook. They were not very into the pricing, but eh. It was for Christmas and we got it deals off because of students. And yes, I am a student, of course. So, I was Vision OS, I'm going to get used to saying that, not iOS. Vision OS 1.1 Beta 1 has been released. And, of course, I'm going to have to keep you guys updated with this if you guys want to. But I don't have a Vision Pro, so I don't... And I'm never really going to have one unless the price, price drops. It should in a few, or a year or two, hopefully. I don't know. But maybe I don't know if it ever will, because so much people just bought it. And Apple did not realize that much people would buy it, so... But, uh, Apple Vision, Apple Vision Pro, the new 1.1 Beta... One release notes are apt to build for Vision OS change scene type or upgrading from a compatible app will crash on launch if you previously launched on a device. So it fixes that. Known issues right now. The accessibility shortcut preference is reset if if voiceover is toggled via triple click of the Crown immediately after completing setup. Uh, work around reboot the device after completing setup. Uh, I don't really know what this stuff is, but it seems like something was crashing on here. I don't have a Vision Pro, like I said, so I don't know what's going on here. Uh, then we have Mac OS 14.4 Beta 2 release notes. And then we'll go to iOS. So, app kit resolved issues. This uh, Mac OS 14.4 Beta 2, it fixed, fixed an issue where center of right align NS text field appear blurry. Fixed resolved an issue, this is the second one, fixed, this is resolved an issue where pointer style does not update when browsing in Safari. It seems like this is a new feature. ML program models that are Okay, with ML computer units, CPU only. We'll use a high. What you will we use a new high performance CPU, bend end that takes advantage of the cellular firmware's BNNS library. Uh, that seems like it says a new feature on here. I don't know why. Uh, then it says resolved issue. Fixed. When do you think? When using the transfer learning algorithm option, the create ML app and framework object detention template might fail to con converge and cause poor model quality, produce more than expected false policy policies. Uh, resolved issue fixed resolves an issue where titling a window causes the desktop picture to turn black. I don't know what this is, but fixed. I don't think I've ever had a desktop picture turn black. Oh, here. Uh, messages, known issue, secrets, emoji, and third party might appear blank. This was happening, I think, on my iPhone. Let's see, I'm going to go to the iOS and iPadOS. 7.4 beta 2 release notes. General. This is known issues. Default browser choice screen may not show up when indented in apps requiring certain requirements. 
my Mac was turned off, so sorry about that. Requiring certain menu entitlements might not install or show an error. To work around it, work around. Open settings and navigate to privacy and security. Location services, toggle location services off for 10 seconds and then turn, turn it back on. I don't know what this problem is. I don't really haven't really had a problem with that. Uh, app Store resolved issue. Certain App Store products sheets will show a can cannot connect to iTunes Store error. Uh, browser engine kit known issues. The symbol create visibility, whatever that word is, is missing in the SDK. Then home kit, I just want to go to messages. Yeah, so, so uh, maps, there was no issue. Map kit, Swift UI apps may not show, might show incorrectly. Hello everyone, I'm back, and I'm at a different location now, many hours later. <laughs> um, so, oh, we're gonna get back into it, this is where I left off, I believe. Sorry for about that, but for me it's not that big of a deal. For you guys it isn't that big of a deal because of uh, my editing skills. Um, so, this is the resolved issue for, I think, this nether part of it. And the fixed issue is where... Object capture view was incorrectly rotating the point cloud view and landscape UI orientations. It's an app I looked at. It. I don't think it works. I don't think I think it only works in MacBooks. If I'm quit from right, I don't know. But we're gonna skip off that. And if you're wondering, this is on this iPad is on iOS seven point four beta two public beta, and this is also betas are betas are turned off in this device. This is on 14.3.1, and I was sending a point for beta 2, it's like pretty smooth, to be honest. On my iPad, I, I mentioned in the video earlier that the dynamic island on my 14 Pro, yes, I didn't upgrade this here, but, um, was glitching, I believe, in Apple Music with the AirPlay stuff. Um, but that's all for that, but then I just updated this Mac today to 14.3.1. It was just on Mac was Sonoma 14.3 before, I believe, so, yeah. I do actually, I actually, while I was not in doing this, I found out how to connect this controller. I have controllers from, I, do, I have a Nintendo Switch, and I figured I got it connected to this thing, this this MacBook and I actually can connect to this iPad, believe it or not. Um, it's called a Pro Controller, I believe. Uh, yeah, so I named her my controller, so, well, oh, my name. But I don't really want to share that right now because I do not need to know that. But we'll get back into it right now. Um, so, let me get back to this. So we have a few things to talk about. How to point four we talked about already. So um I just want to go to how much gigabytes this is using because you know just every once in a while I just like to show this. Uh well I am using a lot of gigabytes here. Oh cap cuts using my most that's my video editor I edit with my videos. Um and thankfully I have two hundred and fifty six gigabytes on here. I have one terabyte on here. Oh well. So iPad was 70.4 beta 2 is using 10.92 gigabytes is a whole good amount and then system data is using 1.07 1.7 gigabytes it's a lot so i have to delete some stuff from cap cut my video editor um so so before we get into everything let me just go back to my apple parts app so now i'm gonna do stuff on my mac so since a Apple Vision Pro has been released, I found, so this has not been this few things that people have been figuring out. So if you have a SIM, SIM ejector tool like this, you can pop open the Vision Pro battery and you'll find this, a lightning connector. 
a big fat lightning connector, Lightning Pro. Uh, so, so far you don't really, I don't really know what you can use this for, because this doesn't really like plug into much, I don't think, I, I think these pins are a little wider than a normal Lightning is, so, this is the thing, the whole thing is a little more uh, bigger than a Lightning connector, so I don't think it would plug into anything, but, I guess Apple really loves that Lightning connector, huh? They're never gonna let go of it completely. Um, so then we have a rumor for the iPhone SE, um, and it looks something like this. It's been so much years, I feel like we're ne not really going to have a dynamic island on the SE, because I feel like this breaks the point. It's supposed to be a lower end iPhone. And people, I heard that the action button cause could be coming to this phone. Remember guys, this is the SE, the lower model type of phone. I really don't think that wouldn't happen. Keep in mind, this SE is uh, not a high type phone. Where Apple's Apple makes this phone for like lower price, so, so they can have a phone that's not that high, highly priced, not for the better features of it. So that might be a coming later. So since we're talking about iPhones, we can see here. So this is from the Apple Hub on X. Uh, shout out to you. Um, I used a few things of yours. Um, this is a 16, 16 plus rumor so far. The same 6.1, 6.7 sizes, 60 hertz display, action button, cause like this year they brought down the DMG Island. You're gonna do the same thing for the action button. New capture button, we don't, still don't really know what that is. Uh, we'll see what this is eventually as we get closer. Uh, A18 A chip? Hmm. I feel like it would be the A17 Pro, A17 chip or something like that, because, you know, Apple's been doing that for 8GB of RAM, vertical camera layout like the iPhone 12, and this Wi-Fi 6E. Going back to the... Wait, like, why is this thing not focusing? Um, so, we're going back to, like, the... The iPhone 12's models. I don't know why this thing's like making it very weird, weird, but um, we're going back to like the iPhone 12s. So like two cameras, but like it has just two cameras like this, not like this. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter to be honest, but I never really loved it like that. Um, but they actually look like they're sticking out a lot though. It doesn't look like that they're big and they're sticking out a lot. It looks like they're sticking out. I mean, every year they stick out even more, so I wouldn't be surprised if it actually does happen. Um, so the next thing is <clears throat> iOS 18 rumors. It could look something like this. So it looks something like this. Um, looks crazy. This is not my weather windy. You can, I don't know what that is supposed to be for calendar part. Look, that really looks the same though. Um, yeah. So that's it for that. So I was 17.4 as actually have a feature for the EU. EU if you're if anybody's from the EU here you gotta let me know how it's going if you do betas. But um there is actually, you are able to go to, like, I believe different app stores, I think, for them, because there's a law that sometime soon, they actually, they're requiring all, like, you need to have all app stores, I think, you have, need to allow side loading. So, Apple's not happy with them, but they are doing side loading only in the EU to come, go by the law by them, um, but, that doesn't mean for the rest of the world, but they did use USB-C for the rest of the whole world, but that should have been done years ago, but that never got done. But if you wonder why they never did it, it's because, you know, when they made the lightning, con like, like, when they wanted to switch from the old 30-pin connector, um, they wanted to make it less room, but they needed a new connector, 
to make a USB-C connector, it would take like a few a year or two for that part to be made. So they would either have to keep the 30 pin connector for one more year or switch to their own proprietary connector. And they chose plan B, which the lightning connector, they, they used the lightning connector and then a year later, the USB-C connector was ready, but they didn't, they got so much backlash from that, from changing, uh, changing to the lightning connector, because everybody had to throw away their 30 pin. I actually still have my very bent up 30 pin at my place. Uh, but yes, um, so they switched and now they finally got it. So much, a decade later, they finally switched. Um, who knows where it would be if, uh, they didn't switch that one year and went to USB-C that one year, that year later, but who knows? I think they would still have made their proprietary connector, though. Um, I think that's it for this. So, there's actually a few other things I need to go through here because I haven't done this in so long. Alright, let me just go to library and I go to go to my updates. So since we're talking about iOS and all that stuff, or well, not iOS but connectors, but we're talking about that. So iOS 17.4 beta 2 on my iPhone 14 Pro, it was uh, 962.1 megabytes um, on my iPhone 14 Pro. Then on my iPad Pro 11 inch third generation, it was iPad OS 17.4 beta 2, and it came in at 847.7 megabytes. And this is my Apple Watch. Apple Watch updates are always pretty small. 435 megabytes, which is pretty nice and easy. Um, said that, said that, that. Um, this is my library. Um, it's my, my Apple. Um, so, so is this it? So, there's actually this new, this, I've had this for a little while, this picture I posted, I did a post on it. So, there could be an Apple event coming up on March 5th, if you, this actually happened, called Lightspeed, I don't know where I got, I, got, I forget where I got this from, but, um, I forget, I don't know what time, 10 a.m. PD, Pacific, let's ask Siri, Siri. What time is 10 a.m. PDT and EST? In Fata and Gorma, Burkina Faso, comma, it's 12.11 a.m. Bro, I don't even, what is she doing? Let's see, Siri, what time is 10 a.m. PDT and EST? In Fata and Gorma, Burkina Faso, comma, it's... Siri, translate to English. Translate into English and many other languages and translate. I think she's in a different language for some reason. Uh, let's try one more time and then I'll quit for doing here. Siri, what time is 10 a.m. PDT in EST? It's 12 12 a.m. in Fata and Gorma, Burkina Faso. Seems like it's like, I don't know. That's. Siri. Convert 12, 10 a.m. PDT to EST. Okay, I found this on the web for convert 12, 10 a.m. PDT to a state. Check it out. Oh my god. I'm going to come back on that because I do not. Let me know in the comments if you know what 10 a.m. P, 10 a.m. PDT is. While I'm at it, I'm going to search it up while I have you guys on here. Because, well, while are you guys watching this? Because I'm going to search up what time 10 a.m. PDT is in EST. So let's see, what? So I can give you guys a proper answer. So if you live in the PDT, Pacific, Dis I don't really know, Pacific District Time Zone? I forget what the name is. 10. I don't know why they can't, they don't really, Apple doesn't really convert, um, um, stuff for you so like they're in the pdt time let's see C 
converted to EST. Uh, 1 p.m. Saturday. Oh, I don't know why I got. So it's just like 10 a.m. It just translates to 1 p.m. So this, forget this stupid thing. It says 1 a.m. Or one, not 1 a.m., 1 p.m. If this were to actually happen, it would be March 5th, 2024, 1 p.m. for the people who live in Eastern time zone. And the PDT, yeah. So, there you have it. Let me do, so would you guys buy an Apple car? Which, Apple plans to, to launch an electric car in 2028. Would you buy an Apple car? So this is a rumor that's been going around a few times. It's crazy. Imagine how much this would cost. Because Apple is known to be very expensive. So, yeah. It's going to be a long video. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is where I got it from. Um, well, if I remember correctly. So, this year, iPad Pros could be going vertical like this. Um... Like these, the 10, 10th, 10th generation iPad could be going like this. Like, you know how it has the camera set up on the top? It could be going like that instead. Which, you know, I like, I don't know why Apple didn't do that in general. Because I'm not upgrading my iPad anytime soon. Because I have a phone and I have a Mac. And I don't really need to upgrade right now. But, um, for one day I will. But probably not for a while. Unless Apple stops. Stops, decides to stop uh, supporting my iPad, but think about that for a second. I have where I used to have an iPad 6 generation. Well, I still have it, but it's actually not mine anymore. I gave it to someone. Uh, but I know I keep up with it because I'm actually it's at this house I'm in. But um, Apple still is supporting it. And it's a 6 generation iPad. And then, so once they discontinue that iPad, I'll know that. The seventh generation iPad is next because my sister actually has a seventh generation iPad. So, yeah, They're not that the S with iPads were discont this continuing support for them, but I think for like with the iPhones, they're more on top of. But that's just that. And then, yeah, so the iPhone 16 Pro, which you expect 6.3 and 6.9 models, new brighter OLED, OLED panels. 48 megapixel ultra wide cameras. Uh, ultra wide uh, could be coming to the iPhone 16 Pro not, and the Pro Max next year. Upgrade microphones. Solid seat buttons. I don't know, that's what we heard this year. Uh, new capture button. I still don't know what exactly what that is. 5X telephoto on 6.3 model. New battery design. A A18 Pro ship. Same dynamic island. Exclusive AI features. So if I'm not wrong, we may have to wait one extra year for the Dynamic Island to go away. Um, I'm pretty sure if I remember my one of my other screenshots I've taken, taken, it has said that I think the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max will be getting like a whole like just for the camera, like you know how Samsung has it, just the whole like the camera there on some of their phones. Um, but we may have to wait one more year for that. Um, and I guess Apple's gonna go the pros, like, instead of just having a chip, like, it's gonna be called a pro now, I guess? Like, how the A15 Pro, what was it? A16 Pro chip, I believe, if I'm not wrong? Uh, um, A17, A17 Pro chip? Like, I guess they're gonna start going pro on the, call it A17 Pro, I mean, A18 chip instead of pro? On the normal phones, I don't know what the difference they were gonna do for it, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Uh, so, 16 still gonna have, it's still gonna have 60 hertz refresh rate for some reason. Apple doesn't want to raise it up to like 90 hertz. Can you believe it or not that Vision Apple Vision Pro actually has 90 hertz refresh rate and it's like 3,500? It's I'm not wrong. I'm pretty sure it's 90 hertz refresh rate and it's 3,500. Keep that in mind, that's a little bit weird why Apple did that. I think because Apple just didn't have the technology, like didn't really figure out a way to have 120 hertz. But the 16 Pro still remains 120 hertz in the Pro Max. 
and we can possibly having two terabytes of storage and actually one terabyte could lose some of its capacity like the performance i believe if i remember correctly so let's see if that actually happened because remember the ipad is actually ipad pro is actually have two terabytes and macs go all the way up to like eight terabytes the mac pros macbook pros and the mac a macbook air is like one terabyte i think it goes up to so far right now um that's something else and that's it for this week um so hope you guys enjoyed this week's videos for gymnastics and stuff this week's gonna be more of a quieter weeks um this week i posted a lot last week and i don't really have much things planned i can get stuff but um uh this week is going to be quite a week. Next week, I'm actually going away, but I'm still going to have to post because now, from now on, I'm going to have gymnastics meets every other week. I have gymnastics meets every other week until, like, states, which I have three more meets right now to go until the rest of the end of the meet. So, until the end of the season. So, yeah. So... This weekend, next, not this weekend, next weekend on Saturday, this is going to be I Have a Meet at 5 p.m. actually, so, EST, um, so, 5 p.m. EST, so, it's not going to be posted until Saturday, Sunday, um, but I am going to, on vacation that week, on Monday, the following, not this week, next week, because I actually am off from school, so, that's nice, so I'll have to be posting during the time. But videos will start next week, next weekend on Sunday, because I will not be posting on Saturday very much. Next weekend, I don't think there's going to be any videos like Apple, but we'll see how that goes. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the long video, but we had to recap. But thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.